Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing great. Let's see what is going on for Aries. First house of the Zodiac, Mars and Sagittarius, Sun and Capricorn. Envy, my goodness. Who's envious of who? Or This is grass is greener when someone thinks someone else has better things or um, you know, but it's, it's, who's envious of who? Is Aries envious? I think Aries as a fire sign, you normally know when you're envious. If you know, you're, you have self-awareness, you know. Oh, wow. We have Jesus coming through, the healer of the ages. So the Jesus card is about a supernatural blessing, something beyond you know, 3D. This is something that's unexpected. It's coming from God and the angels. All right, here, Aries. Somebody's envious of your divine blessings. Um, I believe that creates more karma for them. You're supposed to just be happy for people. Um, nobody's perfect, but you're supposed to be happy for people. Um, all right, but let's see here. Could be somebody envious of you. You're being divinely blessed right now. Could be a lot of things. Okay. So this deck here is called the Borderless Tarot. It has no borders. For Aries, please. First house, seven of the coin, planning. Somebody thinks they've invested in a situation. Six of the air. And they feel like they could be waiting to hear from someone. It could be somebody is not paying attention, ignoring. Oh my goodness, the death. There's been a change. So I was actually thinking to myself, wow, let's not have the death card come out. <laughs> and then here it is. So there's a change that's underlying everything. So something changed and now somebody is like, I've invested a lot, you know, a lot here. And somebody is not giving me the attention or something. I'm not getting what I want. Although Six of Air is a good card. It's peace. There has been a change or there will be a change. The Eight of Coin. You're laboring. You're working. You're very focused. See, once again, I feel like these... With the... With the Celtic cross, you can kind of do it either way, however you feel. So I feel like there's going to be a positive change, something that changes your fortune, because the Nine of Cups came out for the next card. So you've got a supernatural blessing here, and you could be waiting for it. It is going to come in and cause a change in your life. The death is like a change in your life. Aries, your energy is emperor. See, I knew I was meant to do this reading. This is a daily, but it could be a weekly. I notice the energies can take the week to play out. You're coming in really strong. Like you're not budging. You're not reacting. There's a page of pentacles around you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a messenger. Could be someone sending you good news. About finance. Or you're hoping to walk away. And you get this new beginning. So. It's happening. So 
So the bottom of the deck is you have a choice to make. You have to weigh your options. Is it worth it? There could be a new person coming in. King of Water. Uh, it's showing Earth energy with water in the future. The current energy is sort of like waiting. Like I'm waiting for this. The most recent past is you work towards it. Future energy is you're given this opportunity. Ace of the coin. What is the ace of the coin? Okay. So we're getting lovers, which is energy of unions, bonds, relationships. It's also the knowledge of right and wrong choices you could make. Um, but it is a major arcana. Wow, you could be getting someone's attention, Six of Wands, or having a victory. Okay, something's being given to you. This changes everything because you've got two major arcanas with minors. So you've got minor arcana energy where you're just kind of doing what you do. You're, you're not, you are taking a strong stand. Some of you Aries, this could be like a promotion at work because the emperor is power, personal power. Around you is a page of the pentacles. They just sort of give you this opportunity. What you're wanting is to put your emotions into something else. It looks like you're not, your heart's not in something or you want to leave or something. Okay. So the death causes the change. So what is the wheel? What is the wheel? What is the wheel? What is the wheel? Oh my goodness, this would be good. Ten of Pentacles. Money in abundance. Financial security. Wealth. Long term. Stable happy home. Houses and cars, anything that's stable in your life. It's a completion. So you have, again, you have the ace to the ten. Knight of Cups is on the bottom. So good news, happy news. Something you, you may, there may be an apology. You may have felt very stressed out, worried, concerned, nervous, alienated. There is a, a positive change coming in. Now, it could be something, like I said, that you've been waiting for, planning, or investing your time in. Something you've already put energy into, and money, perhaps. And what the change is bringing is Ten of Pentacles. Well, we have King of Pentacles and the Sun. There's a lot of happiness here for you, whatever it is. Pentacles are tangible, real things. But the confusing thing in tarot sometimes is that it's also a person. So it can be a human, you know, it could be a person, but it could be a situation that brings you illumination. On the bottom, Queen of the Wands, you're going to be feeling very powerful, strong, sure of yourself. This is offered to you. So you also are not a page. I mean, you're coming in as Emperor, though. Um, they're off that's what I'm saying. It could be a leveling up where you go from one place or situation to another. Uh, it could be a job offer. It could be a gift. With the supernatural healer of the ages, this is something that you need to heal and improve your life. Um, it has to do with beyond the, the realm. It's like divine God. Hopefully... You know, a lot of you guys meditate or pray and focus your intention so that you're not just focusing your attention to problems so that you're just magnifying your problems, hopefully. Hopefully you meditate on what you want. It looks like you do. Page of Pentacles brings this in. Death card is what happens. So it's like if you quit a job to go to a better job you don't stay in that other job and like work two jobs although I've done that 
where you work two jobs because you're not sure if the other one's going to work out. Um, I don't think that's what this is. This is like a change. The Wheel of Fortune is starting to turn in your favor. You've got a seven of coin crossed. The challenge is six of swords. So somebody is not communicating. Could be an apology. One more message here for Aries. First house. I might do this for the week ahead and then I can continue and do the rest of the zodiacs. Oh, the angel of love is shining down on you, Aries. This is huge. This is a big deal. The angel of love is, you know, divine blessings and love. Um, it looks like there's a challenge with that envy card. The door to romance is here. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. You might be walking away from something, a situation or a person. I don't know if I should do this as a weekly or the daily. I already said it's a daily, but it kind of looks like a weekly. Aries, you're going through a dramatic change. It's not anything bad. Uh, this is all positive because with the King of the Pentacles and the Sun card, something very miraculous is happening. Um, so this is a miracle for you, but it's one of those miracles where you actually, you put in the work. So I will leave this here for you, Aries. I'm going to make it the daily. I will do another weekly. Thank you so much, Aries, for tuning in and take care.